So last week, I showed you guys exactly what every single part on the Giordano Intrepid Walmart bike weighed. Some of them were really surprising. But at the end of that video, I got hit in the head with this package. And what's in it is today's upgrade. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but we've got some stand sealant for tubeless tires. But will this even work? These are Schrader valve wheels. They're not Presta valves like you see with most tubeless. So I had to order some Schrader tubeless valves and I've never used these before. I'm hoping that this actually works. We're gonna take these things off and see if I can make non-tubeless wheels actually tubeless. And if they do work, see if they survive the first ride. Let's go ahead and let's get to it. always the nerve-wracking part of doing tubeless because I have had these things pop on me and it is terrifying. That's got right around 20 psi in it. That's 30 psi. Oh, that scared me. So I've got high hopes for this setup that this will actually work. Okay, now that we know that this is actually holding, let's take the valve out and let's put in some sealant. This is also like at your own risk. Writing a setup as tubeless that is not set up for tubeless, I don't fully advise it, but I'm just showing the concept that this can probably be done. And uh, we'll just have to see the longevity, see if this actually will hold. Worst case scenario, I think, would be just a flat tire. Man, that's, that's incredible how well that sealed up. That sealed up better than any of my other tubeless ready setups. Now let's go ahead and do the back wheel. So we've got both wheels completely tubeless. This one took me less than five minutes total to set up tubeless. I don't hear any leaking coming from it. I'm kind of blown away, honestly. Like tomorrow morning when I come out to check on these in the garage, if these are not flat, I'm not sure what to think. I know these tires are super, super heavy. So they may be like triple, quadruple, walled, I don't know, steel lined, who knows but they are holding air really, really well. And of course the Gorilla Tape as rim tape is tried and true. It's a mess to take off, but man, it holds the air amazing. 
And these Schrader valves, better than Presta. Why are we even running Presta valves at this point? So much more airflow can go into a Schrader valve. I understand Presta for high pressure. Schrader seems to work really, really well. So I like them so far. All right, I got the tires filled up with about 23 and 24 PSI in the front and the back. Riding up and down the driveway was a success at around 40 to 30 PSI. Now I wanna take this out on my backyard trail. I can't take it out to any other trail right now. We are finally getting some rain, but my backyard trail, I'm the one who maintains it, builds it, takes care of it. So I'm gonna ride it. Let's go. So the weight from the last video was 34.91 pounds. Now we're down to 33.71 pounds. That's 1.2 pounds saved. Now I think this bike has the potential to get below 30 pounds pretty easily. Hopefully we find out if that's possible in the future videos. And there you go. I don't think so. Not this, oh! Oh gosh, you got me again. Oh sweet. This is gonna make it so much better. Oh, 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 oh,